Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And uh, yeah, here we are. We're in this open world area of Cosmo Canyon, which seems pretty damn cool. So, <laughs> seems like it might be a little bit less confusing than the last area we were in. Gungaga was a maze, to say the least. Um, I want to go and check out what's over there. Okay, how we doing? Let's see. Okay, so we don't have you scanned. The Sahagin is ice. Well, I got you now. Your wind. Goodness. Wow. Okay, that was impressive. Calling All right, so that doesn't seem to be staggering him. They lose energy every time they attack or take damage, become pressured once their energy is exhausted. Let's do this. I'm ending this. Insult to injury, right there. Oh, hey, little guy. All right, I'm coming. I'm gonna collect this stuff too, though. Oh, I tried. I tried. Since it's been a couple days since I played, I need to remind myself if I'm working on any skills right now and make sure that I'm trying to get those done. Okay, so it looks like Barrett's the only one that has a skill to learn still. That skill is... Smackdown. Um, let's see. Crystal Mega... It looks like you're missing a Materia slot for some reason. Yeah, it was probably that, right? Hmm, I wonder why that was off. Alright, looks like we also changed you back from your one material weapon. Oh yeah, her ceremonial staff. Um, now that she's finished that, we can bring her back to one of her better builds. Yeah, let's go Wizard's Rod. And do we have any pairing material we want to do? We got an auto cast, we got warding, level boost. Oh, AP up for sure. Okay. So, what should the AP up? Maybe on raise? If we get a rise, that one's. Oh man, that's. We're never going to get a rise. Okay, there's no way. <laughs> I thought about it. And then I thought better of it. <laughs> okay, so we'll work on maxing out uh, prayer then.
Okay, we'll bring in a group with um, Barret in it. Oh, let's not forget to pet the Chocobo. Comments will crucify me. I would also be super disappointed in myself, in all honesty. Um, okay, so what is this? Photograph Celestial Phenomena. Oh yeah, okay. Um, that looks like it's above us, so I'm assuming that we have to kind of like climb somewhere over here. Let me see if I can hit this up and then maybe we'll venture this way and get some of these and see if we can find a way up. You know, this area doesn't seem overly huge. All right, nice. Okay, where's my pin? There we go, there's the pin. Got all turned around for a second there. So if I'm on Chocobo, I can hit any of these air plumes and shoot up into the air, right? We need to try that. See, this one's like a melee one, right? Strike the ground and send nearby enemies flying. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Two in a row, baby. Let's go. And insult to injury. We're just gonna wreck your day. That's what we call overkill. Moving on then. Sorry, little guys. They're kind of cute. <laughs> little penguin guys in the desert. Sand penguins. two things on our list for this area. Does each area have the exact same amount of things to do? It kind of looks like that might be the case. They look about the same length as some of the other areas we've done. But I don't know, this area just doesn't seem quite as huge as some of the other ones were, like, especially like the Junon area, that one seemed to like do a huge old wraparound and whatnot. Um, let's see, how do I call Chocobos again? There we go. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we need to go and hit this thing. We just have to see how this works. So this is pr probably one of our ways to get up, huh? Um, let's see. Probably have to hit more of these. Oh, this actually might be the way that I need to go to get to this fiend. Oh, are you going the other way, bro? Okay. We'll do this real quick. kind of dark in here.
little bit moody, you know? So, you know, at some point we are going to go back to the Gangaga region and do some more of the stuff there too as well. Um, I kind of just like hit a wall in that area and wanted to get to some story so that I was I having a better time. But I do want to go I back. Able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. Already? First, look for a weathered old ship, then scour the surrounding area. I trust you'll have no trouble finding this distinctive landmark. Oh, is there going to be a waterfront in this area somewhere? I wouldn't have... How was a ship there? <laughs> How'd you get there, bro? Wouldn't you have to be like ancient? I guess the I guess the presumption is that um, it this canyon was probably just a giant river at some point in the not too distant past because uh, and then Shinra obviously with their Mako plants and stuff sucked the place dry and then it died. Okay, I kind of want... Where's that little jump? Alright, do I want to check out... Nope, not here. There was another direction I could have gone right about here. And that might lead us to the Fiend. Let's find out. Alright, well, this feels about right. Heading straight for it. We're a dangerous territory. Exploit weakness, stagger, and time limit. Commencing guidance protocol. Griffin for reunion of burning. Soar through the skies on my wings. Poor guy. Can you imagine waking up that way? see which <laughs> which ward was that was that the ATB ward is that the one that I had on square for her I need to yeah I think that's the ATB ward okay so let's give her arcane ward next Barrett throw another thunder it's on now Keep it together. All right, watch and learn. Spectacular. Bring it on. Go on. Sorry about that. You. It's your turn. Let's do this. Firework blade. Why not? This is now. Victory is all but guaranteed. Uh, Got it. It's your turn now. I've got this. Okay, twenty seven seconds left. Not bad. Okay, so we're right here. We did both of the things for this area. 
Okay, it shows you where the gliding ranges are. That's kind of cool. I don't know exactly what that means because this is the one that got us up into the air. Oh, this is that jump that's right there. Gotcha. Okay, there's this one here. Would this one lead us anywhere that we actually need to get to right now? I guess we can just, uh, yeah, let's... We'll just hit this. Okay, those ones don't give us a ton of extra air, so we are going to do this. Make sure that we can get across here. I can't be the only one that gets nervous when those chocobo feet get close to those blades, right? Come on, camera. Work with me here. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I don't know if that one would get us high enough. Hard to say. I feel like that's better for coming back this direction, but maybe not. Um, let's go up here first, though. Trying to figure out why I would want to go over there. I'm not seeing, like, a pathway or anything. Oh yeah, now we know the chocobos can kick. <laughs> I love that. So you can't angle the camera down here. I don't know why that bothers me, but whenever I'm like doing any kind of gliding, I always like to see a little bit further down. Is that, I can't be the only one, right? Like when you're gliding, you obviously need to know where you're gonna land. So, um, are you going that way? You are going that way. Sure, let's go. Yeah, this is a really cool area. I don't know why I was in such a bad mood in Gungaga. I think I just like, I finally hit the wall with the mini games, I think, and then it just like put me in a sour mood for a little bit. Once again, I do apologize for that because I know that that's not a good viewing experience for all of you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this area. Let's read that region intel. The founders of the canyon's eponymous village made use of the naturally formed caves and following the emergence of planetology, more and more people found themselves drawn to the place. The makeshift walkways and tent-like domiciles have only increased in number as the settlement continues to expand to this day. Rather than rely on Mako, the villagers built an array of windmills, and each home is equipped to store the generated electricity. A leading planetologist, Bugenhagen, introduced this form of wind power to Cosmo Canyon, and it is said his technical marvel was inspired by the ways of the Cetra. Oh, you gotta love it, man. All right, we just gotta get the whole world to come on board for this kind of stuff. When it comes to nutrition, the villagers' diet consists mainly of grain and legumes grown around the village, supplemented by game meat obtained with traditional hunting methods. Ooh. 
What a beaut these views are, man. Okay. I feel like that just goes down. What do we think? Yeah, there's nothing over there to land on, I don't think. I doubt we can make it that far. Of course, I've been wrong before. Oh, that's that ship. Oh, it's an old style ship, okay. So that helps put a date on it. So that's where we can do our digging. Now I can always travel back to these now. That's the nice thing is that we can always do the fast travel so that we don't have to figure out our pathway back up here again. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh no, I wonder if I was supposed to land on top of that. All right, well, that's what fast travel's for anyway. Okay. Okay, won't do it while that's happening. Take the lead. Oh, you go feel this. You got this. Here goes. See you around. All right, let's try that again. Okay, since it's not going up, I'm thinking that it is lower down. Might just be on the other side of this rock. Oh. Got nothing to sniff. Okay, so it is up there. Okay, let's dig through this wood. Totally normal. Commander's Bracers. I wasn't even paying attention to what the first one was. Must have just missed it. My blind dig was so close. Killing Carsonet. Okay. This doesn't lead us anywhere. Totally fine. Looks like there's a pathway up that way. And we've got an air thing right over here. Okay, obviously I need to go into that giant cave over there. Ooh, we can make high ethers. 
Doesn't even require a base ether to make it. Interesting. We could make one more. What does this do? Imparts peace of mind to the wearer, increases the effectiveness of healing items, spells, and abilities during combat, during battle, I should say. Hmm, do I want that on Aerith? So right now she's got the sorceress, sorcerer's earring, which has given her extra MP and magic power. I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, that is a nice item. Okay, well, something's going to take us here. Clearly. Huh. Yeah, some kind of quest is gonna take us here. No doubt. Uh, where's our exit? Oh no, we're stuck. We're stuck in here forever. Is it over here? Or is it that? There we go. Looks like we mastered SmackDown at some point. You got this. Here goes. Too much? Go on. Someone looks kind of shaky. You okay? Why don't you? I got this. Ooh, that was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Brace yourself. Take the lead. Guess it's my turn. Oh, you in trouble now. Oh, we haven't scanned you. You've got this. Hang back. 
best do it right. Oh, Moogles. Yeah, we're gonna ignore the Moogles. We're done with the Moogles. <laughs> no more Moogles in this playthrough. Damn, okay. I thought the tower... Eh, well, I guess that's pretty far. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that one I don't know how to get to. Probably from up here somewhere. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back here for a second. Oh. Rude. Thought I'd be able to do that. Okay. One way. This certainly can't get us all the way to that other side there, right? Unless, well, no, probably not. Um, oh shit, that's what I need. I just need to go up this. Okay. We found a pathway. Okay, we need to get back up there, I think. Which we can do from over here. I think we've got a path.
1k. What is that in the distance? Is that another one of those um, summon areas? Oh. I thought there was a different direction I could go with this. Okay. Let's take a quick look. Let's see if we can see. Alright, there's an air thing here, so that's got to be used for something. Okay, so we got to get higher somewhere over that direction. Hmm, maybe I just missed a pathway? Oh, there's the Moogles. Fucking Moogles. <laughs> Chadley and Moogles are on my shit list in this game. Okay, so we need to try and find a pathway further up, which actually might be over... Yeah. Yeah, here we go. doing, but clearly not what I thought. I thought it was winding up for a regular attack. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. That'll do. Uh, are we on Barrett? No, we're on Cloud. Okay, we're not going to go off that yet. Not happening, Kate. Just needed it as a fast travel location. The Moogles are dead to me. I'm coming, little guy. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Okay. We'll 
probably be back for that later. Okay, we found the Moogle house as well, so I'm assuming that we are explore. I don't think we can get up there unless that pathway leads to it. So I think we're explored over here. Alright, let's figure out what our pathway is going to be before we make the jump. Because I actually don't know where we're headed. Okay, this is going to get us to the tower, I think. I hope. Is that one going to get us far enough? We're going to find out real quick, aren't we? Straight for the tower. Am I going to actually land on that platform there? I think I am. Beautiful. It's a good thing swords can't go uh, through chocobos. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get off. Bro, you need to, like, get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Stay out of there. All right, all right. We'll walk slowly. Go down so that we can go up. Because Square is insistent on making this take way longer than it has to. <laughs> they took some of the wrong lessons from making an open world game. <laughs> They're like, yeah, people love towers, right? Nobody's tired of towers. Meanwhile, everybody in the West, like in Japan, like I, they don't, I, I wonder how often they're playing some of the same Western open world games that we are, or if they're just not playing them nearly as much as we do. So maybe their fatigue is not near where ours is, but Western open world, the tower fatigue is real. Okay, so now we get to explore this fun little area. Looks like we've got a summon thing here. Oh, there's a faster way. Where are you going? Okay. According to one of the canyon's legends, Bahamut once took shelter somewhere in these lands after being severely wounded in a fierce battle. Its scarlet hue is said to represent the divine protection the Earth bestowed upon it during the entity's long convalescence. <laughs> Oh no, they're getting complicated. Circle triangle XX. Circle triangle XX. Almost did triangle circle on that second one. Because my brain don't work. I need more sleep. Um, I am running off of very little sleep today because, uh, well, my dog was thrown up last night. He's doing a lot better now. He hasn't continued, so I'm Thanks thinking you, that it was Cloud. just a temporary thing, but data he's currently sleeping in my lap, so I've been keeping a good eye on him. But so far, he seems to, it just seems to have been a one-time thing, but 
we ended up just sleeping on the floor for a couple hours while he was throwing up and poor guy. He really was not having a good night last night. Follow the bird now. Your turn, buddy. Your turn. So pretty. mountain ruins. Currently, a survey of these ruins is in progress, but we suspect they were built by the ancients or others like them. I mean, we're Perhaps in the ruins. Conduct an investigation of your own. So it might be close by. Transmuter chip. Cosmo Range Ruins. Where on the map? Cool. So yeah, we're basically in it. <laughs> Up there. Okay. Um, stairs. Tifa, no! She's trying to push me off the cliff. Oh wait, it's above me. <laughs> she is a fake Tifa. Sephiroth did replace her. Oh no, she's trying to kill me. Enhanced Road Warrior Bangle. Safety bit. That'll be for a quest, right? stuck on. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see you, bro. All right. Need my help, do you? Yeah, let's do bonus rounds. So it's my turn? Someone looks kinda shaky. 
You have anything uh air based? No, you don't have any wind. All done. Oh, going up, huh? Uh what else is this direction? And maybe we'll take that pathway up. Um, I feel like we might be getting close to that quest marker. Are, no, that's a little further in. Okay. And we got that, too. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be for one of our side quests. <laughs> Noted. Um, we saw another one of these on the ground when we, around the area that we started the episode. Is that a different type of one? He looks a little bit different. Oh, he's probably the, he's the fiend. Gotcha. Yeah, our MP isn't looking great. Let's just see if we can do it. Probably a bad call. Anyone else smell monsters? Guess I do. Rare golem variant. Pressure and enemy stagger and time protocol. limit. Okay. Strictly speaking, golems are not living creatures. They're soulless play dolls, and only by the life stream. I got you now. Okay, so same thing, wind, and they lose energy when they attack. How is he not worn out yet? Don't overdo it. Yeah. You'll see. Tagging out. Deal with that. Yes, it's my turn. Okay, he is getting pressured now. Who has arrow? You don't have anything to help with that. You got this. I'll show you what I can do. Let's get serious. <laughs> Come on. Can you take over for me? I'm coming. Okay. Congratulations. You managed to complete all intel objectives. 
All right, we need to rest because uh, I am out of MP. Okay, we're almost to this. I don't know if this is above or below us. Where is this quest? Let's track it. Um, I think, does that arrow mean that it's below us? I think it does. Okay, we have a way to get back up if we need to, right? So, oh, wait, maybe. We need to go up here. Chocobo was like, I'm not coming any further than that. You have to come to me, bro. Uh-oh. Ill omen, 12 o'clock. Okay, wasn't expecting this. nothing left um let's see do we still have that thing that gives us a free item usage I don't think we do right now after you oh you got this I'll take care of them I won't give up. <laughs> okay can you take over for me? right through it oh that did not do as well as I expected it to shit Okay, weak to ice, resistant to poison. Dealing enough damage with ice magic attacks will pressure them. Following up with fire damage will leave them open to attacks. While pressured, they will become more susceptible to physical attacks, more resistant to magic. Okay. Get ready. Let's do this. It's on you. Guess it's my turn. Okay, you don't have ice. Do you have anything here? I see impulse. We'll take it. So it's my turn. Okay. Go on. You can do it. Let's do this. Eric. <laughs> Keep it together. Yeah! Don't oh. give up now, you guys! Good one for you! Come get it! You got this! Here goes! Here goes! Uh, 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 that's it! Ain't dead yet. Man, he kept going. Calling ice. That's it. <laughs> okay, Barrett, do you have fire? No, it's you. You're done. All right, that's pretty effective. Okay. Good as dead. Take him down. You win. Cloud, look. <sighs> Photographing celestial phenomena. Using the phenomena reports as a reference to try to recreate the planetologist's photographs with at least 80% accuracy. Though Caesar will accept any picture you offer. 
Press left to view the reports. Press L1 to take a closer look. Once you have the right vantage point, pull out your camera with up and snap a shot. Oh, the picture. Right. Um, I don't even see a red. Weird. Okay, the rock formation should help us. Wait. So do I need to go back down? I thought it would be in the general area that you were at, but it clearly is not. That's not a lot to go on. <laughs> a lot of rock formations. Um, hmm. You can't even see the red star, which is odd. So why did it make us come up here if up here is definitely not where you can even take the photo? That's odd. Trying to see if I can even see that type of rock formation anywhere. It's like, you'd think you'd be able to see it from this vantage point, which is why they took us here, but... Um, I'm also super blind. So I could easily miss it. Huh. Oh, there's three different notes. I see. This is one of the three. Gotcha. So we want 80%, huh? There's our 80. Oh, we made it worse. Okay, right there's fine then. Nice. This is perfect. Well, well. Maybe you ought to add photographer to your resume. <laughs> Let's look for other spots. On top of Honeybee Dancer. And Bodyguard. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Doughty, Timothy Jansen, Skip, Daniel, St. Germain Soleil, Yell, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.